Hi, this is Tom Mahoney from Robotalker.com. Today I'm going to show you how to schedule phone calls uh, using our service. Pretty straightforward. We'll log in. It's in the upper right hand corner. Once we log in, we're going to insert our uh, email, which is our username, and then our password to get to the uh, interface that allows us to make phone calls. So we use a customer account name. Once we log in, you'll notice that this menu changes. The uh, uh, selections will be limited to only home, I think uh, how-to videos, message manager, and add more call units. Now we're in. I'll go to message manager. And if we want to upload some numbers, it's fairly straightforward. Click here. There's an Excel sheet on the right-hand side of the um, website. In fact, it's down here. This is the template that you use to uh, upload different phone numbers. It's a very simple CSV MS-DOS format. Insert three columns. One is the name, phone, and group. Groups can be anything. It can be numbers. It can be a name. If you're a church, you could have uh, um, pallbearers, um, choir, things like that, and normal membership. Upload it all in one file. This is what the name of the group shows up in the interface, is this, not the name of the file. Okay? Let's go back to the interface. Okay, to upload the file, simply go here. You can see these are previous files that have been uploaded. Select the file that you want, the CSV file, grab it, and then uh, upload the file. That's it. Very straightforward. Let's go back to scheduling a campaign. Okay. Next thing you might want to do is create a message. You can do that one of three ways. You can use text-to-speech. You can use uploading a message, MP3 or a WAV file, or you can use the telephone. Let me show you how to use the telephone first. Let's give it a name. I want to use the telephone to record a message. And it gives you instructions. Okay, let's call 702. We'll call this number right now and you can hear how, how it works. You can also call the toll free number too. 800 537 Make the call. Put on speaker. When prompted, you enter your account key. Number three. Please input your four digit access key displayed it under my account when you look. Okay, record your message up to ninety seconds in length, then press the number one when finished talking. Start speaking after the beep. Okay, this is my message. I wanted to show this. I then hit the number one. Message has been saved. Would you like That's it. You can record as many as you want to. Let's go back and schedule phone calls. So now we have a message, we have numbers we uploaded, now we can put them all together and schedule a series of phone calls. Let's go here to the schedule. Very straightforward to do. We're going to pick a large group and we're going to spread it over five days or ten days. These are past camp call campaigns. So we check here. My internet connection is not that quick today, as you can tell. Okay, let's give it a name. Um, test. Uh, this customer is in Central Standard Time, but you can pick any time range that you're in. And I'm going to say it's defaulting for today's day, but I'm going to say I want these calls to go Wednesday. I'm going to unclick that one. I'm going to, go, I'm going to hold down the Control key. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. So I want all my calls to be spread over these six days. I want the time to be from... Let's see, 
5.30 to 8 p.m. I can pick another time, too, if I like, of course. To 7.30 p.m. How many phones do I have available to answer? I'm going to say they have three people answering the phone there. It'll pause the calls once the three lines are full, the transfers. I say next. I pick a group. Here's all the different groups. I'm going to pick Chevrolet. And then I will go down here and say next. This particular customer does uh, phone calls for the auto industry. I'm going to pick a uh, live message for Shepard. And I'm going to change the caller ID to be whatever I want it to be. Eight, um, zero nine eight one. That's our toll free number. But you put your phone number in because this will show up on the caller ID. And when they hit the number one, this is the number that we transferred to. And then I have a separate message for voicemail because, of course, we have a completely separate message if a person answers the phone. The live messages is typically prompt for you to hit number one to be connected. The voicemail messages give um, uh, a phone number for them to call, and typically it's a different message altogether. So I'll go there, say voicemail message. That's it. I hit finish, and then these calls are ready to go. Any questions, give us a call. We're at robotalker.com, and our number is one 800 666-0981. My name is Thomas Mahoney. Any questions, please give us a call. Thanks.